and I'm gonna do a compare and contrast for the quality of a super, super old, super, super cheap camera to the mirrorless cameras of today and really see how far photography has come over the last 30 years. Now I know that this is a consumer level camera, but the film is mostly what determines the quality of the images. So this body here is perfectly capable of doing exactly what we need it to for this comparison. I'm super excited to see how this turns out and then we're gonna go through and scan all the negatives at the end of it and compare the final photos. So some of the major things that we're looking for is the color contrast and then the way that the shadows fall on the images as well as how sharp they are and then also the textures and how rich the textures feel for each photo because that's what really makes some of these photos feel more alive is the textures that you have involved. Everything here has a specific texture that it's trying to portray and we're gonna see which medium is best suited to portray that texture. Let's go. All right, and that's one huge difference when using this camera is that the autofocus system isn't all that great. So I'm actually manually focusing many of these images. Okay, so one of the things I've been dealing with is that the ISO in the film, you just can't change it. So I've been struggling with some film that's designed for outside, but I need to shoot the rest of the roll inside here so that I can go and develop it. But it's stuck at 200 ISO, which isn't really great for being indoors, uh, which I am currently. So I'm having to put it onto a tripod to compensate for the longer shutter that I have to do. So I'm gonna have to do a lot more longer shutters and probably do two or three just to make sure that there isn't any camera shake inside these photos with the film. And I don't have to worry about that with the mirrorless simply because I can shoot the ISO all the way up to like 16 and still get super tack sharp images. So I had a blast shooting these photos and actually scanning the film in and seeing how close some of them came to replicating the look of the mirrorless Canon R6, which has so much tech going for it. And then I was also stunned by how terrible some of the photos turned out and how not even close they were. So if you wanna check out more of the film related content I'm making over on my second channel, you can go down into the description and click on the link to go do that. As always, thank you for watching and take care.